Okay, we're still in Chapter 3 of Typesetting, and I want to take a look at some special characters that we use for keeping words and phrases on one line together. Because once in a while you get something of this nature. And let's highlight this. Dr. Smith, and Dr. is on one line, and Smith has been thrown to the next. Now, it looks good in the context of the whole paragraph, but what if you want Dr. and then Smith to um, be right next door to each other instead of separated? Another situation would be like a phone number. You want to keep it together. Here's a phone number, um, the beginning part. We've got a hyphenation um, and uh, the last numbers right here. So that's not cool. So what do we do? Well, we got to work with um, what we have. And what I want to do is zoom in here a little bit. And you can, well, a lot. And you can see here this first one, this doctor. We've got a space right here. And so what we need to replace this with is a non-breaking space specifically. It's not going to necessarily look any different to the visitor, except that we want them on the same line. Okay, so our hidden characters are actually something we want to be able to see. I can highlight that. And then if I go under the Type drop-down menu, here's where we're going to get a lot of special characters. Under the Type drop-down menu, if you go towards the bottom, there's a listing of insertion types of uh, characters. Okay, there are special characters. There's particular white space, which is also a character of sorts. Um, a break character, which uh, can uh, lead us to some very specific results. Um, we're looking for currently white space type of characters. And so if we're looking at it, there's a number of different ones. And um, we want to um, be able to keep things together. So we'll, instead of a particular amount of space in between, which most of these are, these are different amounts of space. We space them out. An M space is bigger than an N space. Um, it's as if we inserted an, an entire M in between. We're looking for something to keep it together. And that's right here called non-breaking space. Now we could do a fixed width, but in general, this non-breaking space is going to do it right there. And it dropped the, D, the doctor down to the next line. Now, <clears throat> why in the world would I not want to do something like um, a soft return? Well, if I type any more into this, or, or this gets moved around a little bit, now I don't have to worry about that. What if your client comes along and says, you know, we need to replace this word with a phrase, okay? And believe me, it happens all the time. Well, what about Dr. Smith? What if it comes across a different area? Now you've got a soft return you have to deal with, which forces it to the next line, and it becomes odd. Okay, so I'm going to put that um, back to being a regular space because I wanted to take a look at um, this phone number here um, with the dash. Okay, so that dash is just a basic dash from your keyboard. Okay, and so what we want to do again, go into the type drop down menu. We are looking for a special character. And there's some specific ones on hyphens and dashes that you can use. Okay, so what were, are we looking for? We are looking for non-breaking hyphen. Okay, um, select that. And of course it disappears from my view, but let's zoom out to the whole thing. And um, we'll zoom back to, okay. So no matter what you do, it'll keep it together. So on particular things that we want to keep together, then you would put a non-breaking space. In this case, we're putting a non-breaking um, hyphen. So again, anything special like that, our type drop-down menu, 
you'll start getting familiar with some special characters and those are two of those special type of characters.